Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's offer a prediction on Jamel Charlo versus Jason Rosario. This is part two of the Charlo Rosario videos. Part one of two is on YouTube. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Because Charlo has been stopping fighters early, very good fighters of late, right? Erickson Lubin, for example. Because he knocked down Austin Trout early, right? Because he wins the Harrison rematch, granted that was a little bit later in the rematch, but he wins that rematch by KO. And because I have questions on whether Jason Rosario is going to be able to handle Charlo's speed and suddenness, as well as because Jason Rosario is one of the hardest punchers in the division, hits hard with both hands, has surprising foot speed, and will likely try to follow Jamel Charlo after the ambush. And if you follow an ambush fighter right after the ambush, especially someone who's not adept on their back foot in terms of giving back offense, right? You might be able to open up an ambush fighter under those circumstances. And because Rosario is a guy who is all in, in other words, he's trying to knock you out. He's not trying to win rounds. He was discovered by Samson Lukowitz, the same guy who shepherded Sergio Martinez's career. Right? Understand, this is a guy who was the champion of the Dominican Republic, who's been highly regarded for quite some time. I'm sure the loss to Nathan Gallimore caught his people by surprise. Right? Because both guys have game-ending power and rely upon it and firmly believe they're the harder puncher in the fight. The bet I'm recommending is the under nine and a half rounds. That's a high over-under, folks. That gives you the first nine rounds plus half of the tenth. I like the under nine and a half rounds hedged with, and this is just an odds play to make money, hedged with the underdog, Rosario. Simply to win the fight, folks, you're getting three to one in some betting shops on that. Right, so the under, nine and a half rounds, hedged with the underdog, simply to win. Objectively, I think Charlo is the more multifaceted fighter. I do. But I have a price. If the casino is going to give me three to one odds on one half of the play in a fight that's this competitive against guys who hit this hard, I'm going to take it. Right? This bet shouldn't be interpreted as me believing. Rosario is better than Charlo. I don't. What this bet is indicative of are outsized odds on a highly competitive fight. I like the under nine and a half hedged with the underdog, Rosario, to win at two and a half to three and to three plus to one odds, right? Um, the hedge allows you to play more on the under nine and a half rounds. But I need for you to understand the risk involved. If this fight makes it past the midway point of the 10th round, and if the favorite, Jamel Charlo, who went the distance, the first fight with Tony Harrison, who used to go the distance in fights against people like Gabe Rosaro, uh, Rosado earlier in his career, Vanis Martirosian, if this fight makes it past the halfway point of the 10th round and the favorite wins the fight, Jamel Charlo, you lose it all. 
Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.